Hey, yo, I'm working overnight tonight in Brooklyn. I'm gonna break down to you what I do during the overnight shift. But first, check out this video real quick. Check it out. So I'm on this tour and today, post Veterans Day, I've been running my business, running my online practice, practice dig practicing digital medicine and I'm working on the ambulance today because you know what, if you don't use it, you lose it. I need to get on this ambulance and record videos here. Look at the ambulance right there because I'm a proud paramedic and I love running around lights and sirens. But at the same time, if I'm going to be talking to you about what it is and what has to do with EMS and everything related to it, I better be fucking doing it, right? But when I do work overnight tours, this is what I take under consideration. And I want to share it with you. As far as my health is concerned, I avoid insulin spikes. I avoid pastries. I avoid all types of pleasurable foods because they're going to give you energy at the beginning. But then you go into this whole offloading of the stimulation and it gives you the itis or it gives you lethargy and i try to stay away from it so i basically stay away from insulin spikes look it up the next thing is when i do eat something i eat something that's straight protein so i'll go into a deli and instead of getting a sandwich or a wrap or or a burger or something i just tell them yo let me get five dollars worth of boar's head honey turkey let me get four dollars of of deli meat chicken breasts let me just get a plate of egg whites and chicken so the more protein you eat and the less carbs you eat the better because you won't get that insulin spike again another thing i do is i leverage caffeine if you're caffeine tolerant and you drink caffeine just think about what times per day you drink it and that'll help you stay awake throughout your nighttime tour and last but not least, right now I'm in the school playground by our 1089. Our 1089 is our CSL. Our CSL is our cross street location. The unit I'm working on happens to be sitting next to a, a school playground. Check it out. I'm on the park bench right now. And that's where you saw me doing the exercise on the previous video to this one. Where another thing you could do in between jobs, another thing you could do while sitting around 1089 is work out use your body as a weight and exercise because the ultimate source of energy is yourself you can leverage your body's ability to create endorphins and create the fight or flight mechanism start hyperventilating not enough to make yourself go unconscious but enough to make yourself feel invigorated and you can usually get this hyperventilation by doing exercise so on an overnight tour, I avoid insulin spikes, I avoid carbohydrates, and I eat a lot of protein when I do eat, and also, I work out on the tours. Like, I've been up literally since yesterday, 3 a.m., 20 plus days for the last month for you. For those of you that are following me on Instagram, check it out. You've seen it in my stories. And for those of you that are not following me, tune in. I'm putting 20 plus hour days every single day for over a month now and the exercise is something that's helping me a lot it's helping me maintain control stay in control something that i did not have before i gotta work i gotta do what i gotta do and so do you don't fall victim to your busy schedule don't fall victim to being overworked and underpaid fight back no one's coming to save you instead of sitting around and swiping through your phone or watching the movie and staying up to date with your favorite show use your time wisely while you're at work use the back of the ambulance start working out while you're there if you pick up your aed enough times it'll get heavy after a while use the street corner pull out the stretcher pick up your oxygen bag do whatever it is you have to do people are relying on you to be healthy because they need you to save their life 
How would you feel doing CPR on somebody and breaking their ribs on every single compression because you're overweight? Or looking at a building upset because you gotta go up five flights of stairs with your bags. Yeah, you're better than that. You're selfless. You deserve a better life. And one of the things that you could do, start, start taking a step in the right direction, is taking matters into your own hands, similar to what you saw me do in that previous video. It's not about vanity. It's not about taking over and, and being whatever it is that you think I'm trying to be. It's about taking control of my life. It's about being a good example for my patients, for my coworkers, for my sons, for my family, for myself. Like, if you want to be a good EMT, if you want to be a good paramedic, you first have to be good at being yourself. And part of being good for yourself and being good at being you is being the best version of yourself. But think about it. Vaping, smoking, eating bullshit on the overnight shift, on a daytime shift, being stressed out and, and lashing out at your partner, lashing out at your patients and being mad at everybody else except yourself is a horrible existence take matters into your own hands this is how you do an overnight shift stop being a bitch step your fucking game up it was just veterans day these people put it all on the line don't let what they did be in vain r.i.p alex ramon jimenez my brother i hope this helps peace If you're looking for a workout regimen, look no further because in 60 seconds I'm going to give you one for free. The seven years it took for me to become a medical doctor and the nearly 20 years I have working as an unsung hero, I get the same question every single time. Can you help me get a nice body? Can you help me get big arms? Can you help me feel confident again? After helping hundreds of men and women, the answer is yes. I've come to realize that we all suffer from the same damn things. What diet works best? What workout should we do? How do we stay motivated? That's why I'm gonna customize a free 30-day program to help you take a step towards the right direction. I'll show you the exact workouts, how to eat the foods you love without sabotaging your results, and most importantly, I'm gonna be with you every step of the way so you can reach optimal health. How do I know you can reach optimal health? Because I'm a medical doctor. All right, click on the link below. I'll see you on the other side.